at the nanoscale, mechanical oscillators, tiny vibrating structures used in advanced sensors, quantum computing, and signal processing exhibit behaviors that challenge our classical understanding of damping and energy dissipation. Why do some nanoscale oscillators retain energy far longer than expected while others lose energy unpredictably? This paradox forces scientists to rethink how fundamental forces operate at the intersection of classical and quantum mechanics. And classically, oscillators lose energy through friction, air resistance, or internal material damping, causing their vibrations to gradually fade. But nanoscale oscillators, such as graphene resonators, carbon nanotube oscillators, and silicon nanobeams, often display extremely high quality factors, Q factors, meaning they vibrate for much longer than expected before damping effects take over. In some cases, energy loss is mysteriously suppressed allowing oscillations to persist far beyond classical predictions. Why does damping behave so differently at the nanoscale? One explanation comes from surface effects and quantum friction. At the nanoscale, most atoms are at or near the surface, where interactions with their environment are vastly different from bulk materials. This means that van der Waals forces, Casimir effects, and even quantum zero point fluctuations can play dominant roles in how energy dissipates or doesn't. Some experiments suggest that quantum effects can even create regions of negative damping, where energy is unexpectedly sustained rather than lost. Could this be harnessed for ultra-efficient energy storage or quantum computing applications? On the other hand, some nanoscale oscillators exhibit anomalously high energy dissipation where vibrations decay faster than predicted by classical models. This has been observed in nanomechanical resonators coupled to electronic or optical systems where energy transfer mechanisms such as phonon-electron interactions or coupling to quantum vacuum fluctuations introduce new forms of damping that don't exist at larger scales. Another fascinating challenge is nonlinear damping, where instead of experiencing a smooth, predictable energy loss, nanoscale oscillators show sudden jumps, mode coupling, or even self-sustaining oscillations. Some studies suggest that this could be linked to hidden symmetry working effects or even quantum back action, where measurement itself disturbs the oscillatory motion in unexpected ways. Could understanding these anomalies help us design lossless nanomechanical circuits or quantum sensors with unprecedented sensitivity? The nanomechanical oscillator paradox isn't just a theoretical curiosity. It has profound implications for next-generation computing, nanoscale metrology, and fundamental physics. If we can unlock the secrets of anomalous damping and energy dissipation at the nanoscale, we may discover entirely new ways to control motion at the quantum level, bridging the gap between classical mechanics and quantum technology. Could these oscillators be the key to ultra-stable atomic clocks, ultra-sensitive gravitational wave detectors, or even new forms of quantum information processing? The mystery is still unfolding. Nanomechanical oscillators are tiny vibrating structures used in precision sensing, quantum information, and advanced metrology. In classical mechanics, damping arises from energy dissipation through air resistance, internal friction, or substrate interactions, leading to predictable oscillation decay. However, at the nanoscale, these mechanisms behave anomalously, sometimes exhibiting unexpectedly high or low dissipation rates that defy classical expectations. Graphene resonators, for instance, demonstrate significantly lower energy loss than bulk materials, allowing oscillations to persist longer than expected. This is like a violin string vibrating in a vacuum. Without conventional air resistance, it should dampen due to internal friction, but nanoscale effects can alter this expectation. At the nanoscale, quantum fluctuations and zero-point energy influence mechanical motion affecting how oscillators lose energy. Unlike macroscopic systems, nanomechanical oscillators interact with the quantum vacuum, shifting damping behavior in unexpected ways. In some cases, quantum coherence sustains oscillations longer than anticipated by suppressing decoherence, induced energy loss. Experiments on carbon nanotube oscillators reveal quantum back action effects where energy dissipation is altered due to interactions with the measurement system. This is like a pendulum swinging in an invisible medium, 
while classical friction should slow it down, quantum effects introduce new forces that modify its motion in nanoscale resonators. Energy dissipation is dictated not just by internal material properties, but also by surface interactions, phonon scattering, and electron-phonon coupling. These factors cause deviations from classical damping predictions, where energy loss occurs at unexpected rates or through unconventional channels. This phenomenon is particularly noticeable in high-frequency oscillators, where phonon interactions dominate over classical frictional effects. Silicon nanobeam resonators, for example, exhibit frequency-dependent damping that does not match classical viscoelastic predictions, indicating non-localized energy loss mechanisms. Imagine a tightrope walker losing energy not just from foot friction, but also from invisible air currents that unpredictably redistribute motion. At the nanoscale, surface effects dominate mechanical behavior because the proportion of surface atoms is significantly higher than in bulk materials. These surfaces introduce additional energy loss mechanisms, such as atomic scale roughness altering phonon transport, leading to damping rates that vary unpredictably with size and geometry. In some cases, surface passivation reduces damping, while in others, surface adsorbates increase energy loss unpredictably. Gold-coated silicon nanobeams, for instance, exhibit vastly different damping behavior compared to bare silicon beams. Highlighting the role of surface modifications, this is like a smooth ice rink. If it becomes covered with microscopic bumps or contaminants, Skaters, skaters experience unpredictable resistance. Nanomechanical oscillators often enter nonlinear regimes where energy is localized into discrete vibrational modes rather than dissipating uniformly. This contrasts with classical expectations where energy would spread evenly and decay predictably. Such nonlinear effects allow nanoscale systems to sustain oscillations longer than anticipated due to energy trapping mechanisms. Silicon carbide nanomechanical oscillators, for example, display mode locking effects where energy remains concentrated in a specific vibrational mode instead of dissipating. This is like a bell ringing, but selectively amplifying certain tones while suppressing others, preventing uniform decay of sound. In classical mechanics, Energy dissipation follows well defecation pathways, such as thermal conduction and material deformation. However, at the nanoscale, phonon tunneling enables energy transfer across gaps that are classically forbidden, leading to unexpected energy retention or dissipation. This creates anomalous resonance behaviors where oscillations last much longer than predicted. Quantum dot C coupled nanomechanical resonators, for instance, exhibit phonon tunneling effects, altering expected damping rates and coherence times. This is like heat transferring between two objects in space without direct contact. Uh, an unexpected bridge forming where classical physics predicts none. Nanomechanical oscillators coupled to optical cavities experience modified damping due to light matter interactions, leading to optically induced cooling or amplification of motion. This challenges classical damping theories where energy loss is expected to be independent of external electromagnetic fields. These effects can be harnessed to create ultra-low noise sensors and quantum-limited mechanical systems. Silica microtoroid resonators, for example, use optomechanical coupling to achieve near-zero damping by compensating energy loss with controlled optical excitation. This is like an astronaut using tiny bursts of air to counteract friction in space, allowing controlled stabilization of motion. While classical systems exhibit smooth temperature-dependent damping behavior, nanoscale oscillators often display abrupt shifts due to thermal phonon coupling. At certain temperatures, phonon lifetimes can increase or decrease unpredictably, altering residence conditions and energy dissipation in ways not captured by macroscopic models. These effects become especially pronounced in low-dimensional materials. Graphene resonators, for example, exhibit near-zero temperature dependence under some conditions due to anomalous phonon lifetimes contradicting classical expectations. This is like a tuning fork changing its pitch unpredictably based on air temperature, defying traditional expectations of how materials should behave advances. 
In nanomechanics, aim to develop materials and geometries that suppress unwanted damping effects and enhance coherence. By engineering topological phononic structures and quantum feedback systems, researchers seek to extend oscillation lifetimes beyond classical limits. This could lead to breakthroughs in quantum computing, precision sensors, and nanoscale energy harvesting. Diamond nanomechanical resonators with nitrogen vacancy centers, for instance, are being explored for quantum memory applications due to their low dissipation properties. This is like designing a race car with zero friction. Carefully engineering the environment to eliminate unwanted energy loss and maximize performance.